Also, I'm going to start a contest which is a great opportunity for you guys. To participate, you have to find the question hidden within the video and be the first one to answer it correctly. The first one to give the correct answer will have the following benefits. The first benefit is the opportunity to get his or her queries solved through direct discussion with me on Gmail. Or they can also ask me to make a project of their choice. Note that winners will be revealed after 12 hours of the uploaded video in the pinned comment section in my YouTube stories and in the next video or the project video of their choice. Hi guys, today in this video I am going to make a 220 volts to 9 volts DC supply high current 20 amperes. So for that I am going to use this UPS transformer which produces an output of somewhere around 9 volts with an input of 20 volts. Other components are this KBPC 3510 rectifier and this 74000 microfarad and 16 volts capacitor. Some clips and bolts. Now let's measure the resistance of this transformers winding with the help of this must tool multimeter and as you can see that the high voltage side resistance is 19 ohms and the high voltage other terminal is 4.6 ohms which is not going to be needed it is for operating the relay I guess yeah. so for that reason I have removed it now let's cut a wooden piece that is going to be required for this project as the base stand Now guys, I'm going to use this pin to feed 220 volts to the transformer. Let's see the wave oscillation AC. You can see that it is pure sine wave. You can buy this must tool multimeter from the link provided in the description. This is a 12 volts 5 amperes car headlamp bulb that I've connected to the secondary high current winding of the transformer. Now let's test it. Now for some reason, the transformer is making a hissing sound and it is not working. Yeah, the bulb is also not glowing. Before the transformer burns out, let's disconnect it. So guys, I'm going to remove the transformer and replace it with this one. But let's check this one first. And as you can see that it is working perfectly and it is glowing the bulb pretty good. It is a 250 watts and 24 volts bulb. Okay, let's remove this one. And replace it with the other one. Okay, testing again. And it is working nice time to connect the rectifier
so guys I have connected the AC terminals of the rectifier to the low voltage high current side of the transformer and to the DC terminals of the rectifier I have connected it to the capacitor considering the positive and negative terminals properly okay now the AC pin has been connected to the high voltage side of the transformer let's measure the voltage with the help of these jumper cables you can see that it is glowing the car indicator bulb quite good now link for the jumper cables and in connector box will also be provided in the description so don't forget to check them out you can see that the voltage output of this setup is 9.15 volts which is exactly what we need 9 volts let's try and glow this 12 volts bulb with it and it, you, as you can see that it is glowing pretty good yeah not fully bright because I'm not feeding it 12 volts but yeah bright enough same with the car headlamp bulb let's test some DC motors for which I have actually made this power supply DC power supply okay now this is a 32 amperes 12 volts DC motor you can see the high current winding let's connect it you can see there is arcing because of the high current flow it is working pretty smooth although not much visible but yeah it is running now comes the centrifugal pump which is a 15 amperes DC shunt motor 12 volts general electric now it takes huge current because it is a shunt motor you can see how thick the cable is and this supply should be able to run it also guys polarity does not matter for shunt motors or any type of DC motors you can see that it has started running pretty good even at 9 volts DC cool right now this is a 24 volts 500 watts e-bike motor you can see that the rated current is 26.7 amperes and it is running pretty good at just 9 volts input I got this motor from Banggood's and a link for this also will be provided in the description it works pretty good now guys this is a vacuum cleaner 12 volts 15 amperes and as you can see that it is working pretty good and it is for cars I usually run it for cleaning dust on my table working table okay you can see that it is working nicely now let's go for the bike starter motor high current 110 amperes DC short circuit so guys the question for today is who invented the first transformer again who invented the first transformer Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit that bell icon for similar video notifications. Also, do comment on what else you would like me to add to this present video. Best regards, Electron.